Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Marzullo here, Ram Studio Comics. And I had a few people ask me, uh, you know, hey Rob, what's your studio look like? So I figured I would give you a quick showdown of what that is. Uh, it's nothing too spectacular, it's just, uh, it's in my basement. Uh, and as you can tell by those little windows there. Um, I'm in my basement and I've got my, you know, you got reference, which are, you know, a lot of books in there. Uh, some are not comic book reference, like stocks for the long run never know when you'll need that so uh, I've got some stuff that's definitely off topic there uh, but a lot of its comic book reference movies you know things like that that I can get inspired by and check out you know a little mannequin dude uh, sitting next to an air freshener um, but you know here's my PC setup uh, built the computer you know by that I mean got the parts put it all together you know pretty proud of myself for doing stuff like that with my buddies and things I use it in 205 on that setup. It works pretty good, but I'll be honest. Ever since I switched to um, a Mac setup uh, on the Cintiq, it's it's a world of difference. So uh, I'll probably end up from here on out going all to Mac computers. They, they just they do run effectively better for artwork. So uh, and I was a bi big PC fan all my life. So for me to say that that is a, a big statement. Uh, a brother uh, fax combo. I, I actually got that just because it's an 11 by 17 scanner which is almost imperative to have with, uh, or it is imperative to have when you do comic book illustration. Um, there's a cover to book one of Blackstone. I uh, wish I did the cover a bit different, but it's already done. It's in production. You can find it on Indie Planet. Uh, the character Krem, uh, one of the antagonists in the, uh, the uh, Blackstone comic book. Um, so that, uh, just, you know, lots of artwork that I keep up on the walls there um, you know a lot of fan art this is a digital painting I did a, a ways back uh, it's I see a lot of flaws in it nowadays but it's just basically one of the ones that at the time I was really happy with so I printed it and put it on the wall that kind of thing uh, Spawn's always been a, a fan favorite of mine like I love the character uh, Todd McFarlane's artwork was always very inspiring growing up uh, so there's a piece I did of uh, that character and all of that was done in Sketchbook Pro and completely digital so so penciled inked and colored and sketchbook pro all digital and uh, my colors suck I'm not a very good colorist at all uh, Blackstone Eternal comic that was gonna be the cover to book two but actually I'm gonna end up going with this this one for the cover so you'll see that uh, on the stands or digital or indie planet you know real soon as soon as I finish that book so uh, be sure to to uh, go and buy yourself one don't think about it just buy it so and uh, over here, the old uh, rem reminiscence of the old uh, way I used to produce art. I still come over and spend some time in the old art table and draw on Bristol board, um, mainly for fan art pieces like this. Well, it's actually a page from book one of the comic of Krem uh, kind of doing some fearful statement or whatever. Um, but uh, here is uh, you know a fan piece of. I think you can see that in there real well. Um, cap smacking the the slap down on uh, red skull or whatever and you know all these are oversized I don't know if you can tell by looking at the uh, art table I do a lot of oversized pieces um, I just do these for practice and for fun uh, one of the things I like about drawing on larger paper is I can really get in there and add some detail and some some cross hatching and shading and stuff like that uh, it's a little more time consuming so I don't do a lot of these but uh, I do enjoy doing them uh, there's one of one of my favorite characters, Spidey. Uh, that's all digital. Well, actually, I started that as a sketch, then penciled, uh, inked it. I kind of did finished pencils, inked, and colored uh, again in Sketchbook Pro. And I typically do most of my comic book stuff in uh, Manga Studio. But uh, there's a, a Blackstone banner stand that I take to my shows. I, I take a couple of those with each con or to each convention. Um, that was going to be the cover to book one, but I, I vetoed it. I, I wasn't digging it. Um, you know, I can't really tell you what bothered me about it. It looked a little too cartoony, and I just wanted to get away from that. Uh, that was just a pinup I did uh, of Blackstone on, on pencil, and I just I liked the way the shot came out, so I printed that and put it on the banner stand. Um, oh, and I can't forget the precious light table, which is really just a glorified uh, collect all for all my different art tools now, but. Um, everything from Crow Quill nib tips right here, uh, you know, uh, Higgins ink and tons and tons of just pen, fixative, a hammer, you know, for when it's hammer time, I guess. Um, 
but yeah and you know it's all kinds of art supplies and stuff lap boards i love those because they're they're just good for sitting upstairs with the family and drawing when i want to um again a lot more reference even though a lot of that stuff's uh 3d and web design stuff which is i don't i don't do as much of that anymore i do my own web uh, page stuff but that's about it so but yeah so this is the studio um don't mind the clutter in the back this is a basement uh, you got a, you know, another good reference tool is a camera and a tripod. I use that a lot, and of course, well, on a flood lamp, uh, and of course, uh, a weight bench, and you know, picture of the Hulk by the weight bench. So I got some motivation there. Um, but you know, the weight bench and the treadmill for when you got to get up and move around from uh, sitting down for long periods of time drawing this stuff. So keep that in mind too. You really want to get up and you know, circulate some blood and keep moving, and you know, it's uh, it's really important. You know, you sit here for. 12 14 hours in a day and uh that can that can be bad for you so but anyways that's it that's the studio nothing uh too spectacular that's my little work facility and that's uh most of it's done right here um and just to let people know what i started with well besides just the art table um what i started with was just that in tools 5 and i worked out uh you know worked with well excuse me worked with it a lot Sold artwork, did shows, made some money with it, sold independent, you know, everything from logo design and graphics for people to be able to get to where I could afford something like that. So just remember, you can start with just that and get going and, and do everything, you know, um, that I do with this stuff. And, and to tell you the truth, I think, I think that one right there was done on that, just so you know. So this is Robert Marzullo saying thanks for watching, thanks for being part of my YouTube channel. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of insight into, you know, what I do and how I do it. So uh, keep drawing, keep having fun.